is 1.20 in the morning and today I'm heading to the Florida Keys and I'm gonna be staying at Bahia Honda for uh, four nights. All right, so I got about seven hours of driving and it's 1.20 right now. I'm at Highway 27, which is a pretty long road. It's 6.51 in the morning and the sun is about to come up. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. I've been driving already for about seven hours. Um, I haven't slept, nothing. But I keep myself awake pretty good. But it looks like the ocean is really calm. Look at that, it's like flat on the Gulf side and on the Atlantic. Be a beautiful day. Oh, that SUV is one of my neighbors. He's in that uh, hydrospore over there. All right, all set. I gotta warm up the engine and go check out my family. They're staying on the camp. They're staying in the RV park. So I'm gonna go check them out in about five, 10 minutes. First, I'm gonna fill up the tank of water. And after that, I'm gonna go check them out. Uh, I think my dad wants to go fishing, so I'm gonna take him fishing. See, I'm already here, already got one charter, ready to pick up. There's a wasp in here, man. It's really hot. It's a manatee. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big manatee. It's still here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can't find it. You have a backup or 
something? Or can I get the food? Alright, let's check out, see where they're, where they're at. Alright, this is where my old folks are staying at. Awesome, he has the water back here. See, my father had a boat back in the day. And he sold the boat, he had a robado. And he sold it. And got this, check it out. Got a fridge here, mini fridge, stove. Let's go check it out inside. All right, so this is the RV. Nice and great air conditioner right here. Without it, you can't be here. So it has a bed over there. Has a nice bathroom there. Kitchen. Bedroom. And it has another bed there that my uh, niece is uh, staying at. It has a double bunk bed there. Awesome. So they traded in the boat for a camper. I think they were smart. He's trying to catch some bait. If we don't get bait here, we're gonna to go to molasses and get some bait. And this time I got two marinas here and the other one over there. But this one here doesn't have any power or water. Well, it does have water, but no power. So I guess I'll be staying on the other marina. Just making some sandwiches for the fishermen. The fishermen, they will catch no fish. Traten de traer pescado. All right. She's gonna make me some pancakes. Beautiful. The pulpit is so big that if the tide goes down, it's gonna hit. But we're getting out of here anyway. We got a little high tie here, which is perfect. All right, we got only two, two bait. Now we're gonna head to 80 to 100 feet, see what happens with that light bait. All right, we're almost there. something here Ooh, another one feels heavy <laughs> another heavy grunt another grunt it's gotta be another grunt yes a yellow grunt yellow grunt Another yellow one. Another yellow one. And now we're gonna head back. Got a lot of grunts, one strawberry grouper. And I said enough for dinner today. How many? I don't know. You only one thousand. Oh, I'm gonna fill up the bucket. 
it did pretty good. Got almost a whole full bucket. Right, since my family are staying on the RV park, I'm gonna take a shower in their nice shower facility there. Since I have family staying there. It's too hot. Way too hot. It's a good day of fishing though. I'm gonna get my bike to make it a lot easier. Let's see what she's doing here. See what we in? Look how much fish we got here. Look at that. All right, so that's dinner. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower. I smell like a fisherman. All right, off to the showers. So far, it's been a beautiful day. Boy, am I tired, I haven't slept one drop of sleep in 24 hours once i uh go to sleep today i'm gonna i'm gonna faint nice make sure i lock this right here there we go this beats taking a shower out there on my boat. There you go, hot water. Love it. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Nothing like taking a shower after a hot fishing day. Cold shower is it. Going. Did you do any any good fishing today? I went about five miles out. Twenty six, but you put your stuff on there. Oh no, that's um. Somebody else's. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. Nice to meet you. Well, you got the energy. As long as you have the energy, you'll be you'll be I good. Got a little bit of energy, no problem. Okay, so we know you're down here. We know you're uh, uh, doing films. We know you got a nice house, a nice boat, a beautiful car. What do you do for a living? And I do a lot of things. Oh, okay. So, but, you're, but you just kind of, uh, uh, when, when they call you, you're just, you'll do the job for so much. I, I'm on call. As a matter of fact, I did two, two, uh, two appointments while I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of people think, like, man, these guys don't work. No, no, I knew you were. <laughs> I knew you were. I knew you were something in construction, but yeah. it's a good business. Yeah, I do a lot, of, a lot of things, you know, whenever they need me. I met up with one of my YouTube viewers. And this gentleman here, he's a genius. Look what he did here. He did not have a platform or a pulpit for his windlass. And later, when I was editing this video, I saw this. I was amazed with his engineering skills. This is awesome. You're gonna need a hand. You got it. This one is my favorite the ice. Mm. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Thank you for inviting me. Mother. Hoy si estás contento porque la madre está cocinando en la tierra. Ya no tienes que cocinar en el agua. She doesn't speak English. She says I don't have to cook in the water today. She's treating me to dinner. Working in her vacation. You studying or you working? Studying. Studying. She's smart. I love it. You're an inspiration because you're making it fit. I'm too old. To as long as you don't forget tonight and fall off. <laughs> My wife, I told her, she says, I'm next to the guy in the YouTube. She's 
Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. She, she, doesn't, she doesn't know. She doesn't remember. She doesn't, she doesn't remember. She doesn't watch it. <laughs> uh, she said, I said, well, I'm going tomorrow to the uh, reef. She said, well, if you fall in tonight off the, <laughs> off the tent or you don't make it, just tell him <laughs> tell him to call the host guard. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, but imagine, you fall, if you fall in that, you won't be able to swim because you're trapped into a bubble. <laughs> That's crazy. I no, but I'm sure you ripped through it. Uh, I don't know about that. You're ripped through. Uh, I'm too tired. No, but you, you have a great setup. I like it. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. But... It's all about memories and just surviving. So there it is. And look at you drinking. Oh, I already survived. Such a beautiful day today. There's some people still at the beach. All right, awesome weather. It looks like they're waiting up for me. Oh, I came here to visit my family. They made me take the garbage. Oh. Even though I haven't slept nothing, I gotta make some coffee. Just like an old habit. And the boat starts smelling like a Starbucks in here. I don't know how I do it without sleep for 24 hours. I know when I get home, usually from trips like this, um, I need to take about a week to recoup. Ah, strong like always. I know one day it's gonna catch up to me and I won't be able to drink coffee at night. But till then, it needs to be enjoyed. Every minute of it. My family will be here tomorrow, and then after that, they'll leave. So, I'm gonna give them a tour uh, of molasses, the island, and then probably go fishing with them. But th tomorrow is the last day they're gonna be here. So, I'm gonna enjoy it with them. And then I got two more days by myself here to do some fishing. I'm gonna get some rest now and I'll continue this trip on the next video. Thank you for watching and if you did, please thumb it up.